certainly we've heard some so many aspects of people that come in contact with uh, issues on the court and field and perhaps none better than a coach and we have here uh, Jenny Hall uh, who really has not had immediate contact with Simon's Fund but the whole goal of what we are doing is to educate all the public but more importantly our coaches our trainers uh, our participants and their parents about what sudden cardiac arrest is all about so thanks for being with us number one you give us a little bit of background about yourself I'm born and raised here in Norristown. Uh, I played sports all through high school, won a state championship uh, back in 1977, played college basketball at Rutgers University, uh, won a national championship over there in 1982, and graduated in 83, went overseas, played uh, professionally for um, eight years in 10 different countries, and had a chance to travel to 25 countries total. Uh, I played on the USA team in 1985 and have a silver medal from that. Uh, when I came back from overseas, I coached college basketball for 10 years, four different schools, and uh, coached high school basketball for seven years, and as well as uh, AAU basketball. So um, I've kind of done it from the full spectrum. Well, you, you heard about this legislation today. Um, you know, athletes collapsing on a court, collapsing on a field, education of coaches, making them aware that it might not be dehydration. Uh, uh, a sudden faint on the court. I mean, do you feel that uh, this is going to be helpful to educate the coaches up front so they know potentially what they're dealing with? I mean, being a coach, there's so much to worry about. One, are all your players there, depending on what age group they are. Two, that no one's getting hurt. But then three, the silent killer, uh, such as sudden cardiac arrest. Do you feel that this is going to help coaches? Yes, and I think it should be, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. So I think really everyone needs to be educated. The parents need to be educated. The student athletes need to be educated. The uh, high school and the uh, collegiate athletic trainers, um, all the way up to the professional level. You hear so much about football players in the summer practicing two and three times a day out in the heat. So I think really everybody needs to be educated about this and be screened for it. And um, if you are, then you don't have to worry about this sort of thing happening. Well, we certainly, uh, I represent part of Norristown. I grew up right outside of Norristown in West Norton. And we certainly have had our uh, unfortunate experience uh, in Norristown with the children collapsing, uh, dying uh, in, in, in the Norristown Area School District. So this is not something that is not in all of our communities. This is not something that's not on every one of the courts and fields that uh, you as a coach and I as a, most of the time, mouthful spectator, yelling at the refs as we all do from time to time. But this affects us all at home. And we thank you for taking time to offer us a coach's perspective. And uh, we're gonna be speaking here in a few minutes with a child who was screened and when the screening occurred in the North Center School District and unfortunately has been removed from a, a number of sports, but he is certainly happy to be alive and happy to be with us uh, as a result of the screening and the support of Simon's Fund.